This unassuming little piece of technology is the short saver from VFly. And it claims to be a better version of a smoke stopper light bulb. Today, we're gonna to put that to the test. We are going to try to destroy this quadcopter. And we're only gonna have the VFly short saver to protect, protect my quadcopter. You wouldn't let it fry, would you? I'm Joshua Bardwell. You're gonna learn something today. Before we put the V-Fly short saver to the test and see whether my beloved quadcopter is going to get smoked today, let's just take a second and explain what a smoke stopper is. Um, this is an automotive taillight bulb, and when you plug a battery into it, and then if you short circuit the terminals, guess what'll happen? Shocker, the bulb lights up. It's very bright. Now, when you've got a light bulb, obviously what you want it to do is light up and provide light. But the purpose here is to provide resistance that prevents a short circuit from causing damage. See, normally this wire here would be some part of your quadcopter that you accidentally short circuited with a solder blob or maybe you soldered it up wrong and it would fry. But with a smoke stopper light bulb in line, the light bulb prevents the current from flowing, the light bulb lights up, providing a convenient visual indicator that you have a problem and everything is okay. But smoke stopper bulbs are not perfect. And that's why people have tried to develop superior versions of them. And, and first of all, it's a bulb, it's glass, so it can break. It's bigger than this thing, although not by much. Um, it's only good for, it's rated for 12 volts because it's an automotive bulb. I use it on 4S all the time and I've never had an issue, but if you use it on 5 or 6S, it will fry. This guy is good for up to 6S, so that's no problem. And there's one thing that a smoke stopper bulb can't do, and that is protect from reverse bias, from reverse voltage. In other words, if you put the black wire where the red wire should go and the red wire where the black wire should go, it is gonna fry. And the V-Fly, can even protect against that. Let's put it to the test. Let's just plug the short saver in and we get two LEDs here. The green LED indicates that everything is fine. If we get a short circuit, this will turn red. You'll see that in a second. The blue LED indicates that we are at a two amp current threshold. And two amps is enough for most quadcopters to be under normal operation without tripping it. But two amps is enough to damage some small quad, micro quads. Um, and you can see that this guy does have an XT30 on here. You can use it with micro quads. What you can do is you can just flip this switch here, a blue light turns off and you are at a one amp current threshold. You would use that for smaller quads. If we then take our alligator clip and we short circuit this guy, what we're gonna see happen is the light turns red almost immediately and it stops. Well, theoretically it stops the current from flowing. Let's find out if that's true. So we're gonna plug this old light bulb up here. And this light bulb usually lets about two to three amps pass. So let's set this down on the one amp threshold. And this light bulb should not light up or let's see how long it lights up before this thing trips. It didn't light up at all. Like it didn't even blink. Right here on this flight controller, the video transmitter power supply is battery voltage. That's gonna be 16 volts or whatever the battery's putting out. And right here next to it is the ground pin. And the first test I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use these metal tweezers to short circuit those two uh, pads. And there's a reason I'm doing this on the flight controller and not on the ESC, because the ESC has big hefty traces if you short circuit the ESC, some sparks and fire might come out, but it might actually survive. You're more likely to burn up your tweezers. But in this case, when I short circuit these two pads, we're gonna pull the maximum current of the battery through the ESC, through these wires, through any traces on the flight controller. We're gonna give as many things as possible a chance to fry. Let's do it. I kinda don't wanna do it, it feels so wrong. Well, I got a tiny spark, but it has tripped. And notice that now that it's tripped, it didn't just return to the untripped state as soon as I removed the 
uh, tweezers, it's like, whoa, something's not right here. Uh, normally with a smoke stopper bulb, the minute the fault is removed, current is immediately reapplied and more damage can occur. Let's see if anything got toasted. I'm gonna need to power cycle this. No, no harm done. Video transmitter's working. Everything's working. Okay. Well, that's kind of the easy test. Here's a much harder test. And that is reverse polarity on the battery. And the reason a smoke stopper can't protect you from reverse polarity is it just protects from overcurrent. But reverse polarity isn't just overcurrent. It means you're pushing electricity through the circuit backwards. And that will just especially the an ESC, the MOSFETs on an ESC, it's just, they will smoke, it's bad. So we're gonna take the red alligator clip and put it on the black wire. And the black alligator clip and put it on the red wire. So we've reversed the polarity here. Red to red, and here we go. This will definitely fry the quadcopter. The, the ESC for sure is just gone if this thing doesn't do its job. Here we go. Not gonna lie, my heart kind of jumped into my throat there. Just, just did its thing. Perfect. Now I watched Oscar Leung's review of the V-Fly Short Saver and something happened to him. I wanna see if it's gonna to happen to me. He took a battery and he took a quadcopter and he plugged it in and when he plugged it in, no, it's not gonna to happen to me. When he plugged it in, instead of getting the motor tones, he they just tripped and shut off and he was a little curious as to why that happened. Um, the reason that happens in my experience is because especially if you have larger motors, the beeping of the motors will draw enough current that it'll sometimes light up, a, like you'll see the smoke stopper bulb uh, light. In fact, maybe we can demonstrate that. It may light just a little bit. Let's see if it beeps or lights up at all. No. So this quad just doesn't have very big motors and they're not drawing very much current. Shush, 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 jump, radio master. So this quad doesn't have very big motors and they're not drawing very much current. But if you do plug this guy in and if it, tr it trips just from the startup beeps, that may not mean you have a short. It may not mean you have a fault. It may mean you need to, well, I don't know. I mean, you've got the two amp limit, but if your motor motors are pulling more than two amps, maybe that's a time when you would change that solder bridge to have just a little bit long. The difference between three milliseconds and 10 milliseconds, it hardly seems like it's gonna matter. I don't know about that. That may be one place where the traditional smoke stopper bulb still has an advantage. The other thing is that if your quadcopter just pulls more than two amps sitting on the bench, like you have a ton of LEDs, it's gonna trip it every time. The thing to keep in mind is that this thing doesn't just detect faults, it detects an overcurrent condition and sometimes normal operation pulls more current than you, uh, than you, you think it would. Hmm. Sometimes people are building a quad and the minute they plug their video transmitter in, suddenly the smoke stopper light starts lighting up. It's just that the video transmitter is pulling so much current because maybe it's a big powerful video transmitter that it causes the thing to trip. All that being said, I am pretty impressed with this. The only question I really have about it is, is it gonna just fry like that other solid state smoke stopper, the Benjineering one from Race Day Quads? Sorry, Race Day Quads. I tested that thing, it's just got a polyfuse in it, I think, and it just, it literally smoked during my, let's put that footage in. Editor, we insert that little, and my reaction. I'm gonna short this, and I just wanna see what happens to the current when it shorts. Oh. Okay, that's not what was supposed to happen. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's amazing. Um, so uh, only time will tell, but this thing, I've been testing it for a little while and it hasn't smoked yet. And you can see it's way more complicated than just a like a polyfuse and that's it. There's a lot going on here. They talk about how when it, cuts off, there's no leakage current, none at all. It's just uh, no more, done. 
and it shuts off quickly. It seems reliably. I am going to replace the smoke stopper in my kit with this. And, you know, six months from now, we'll see if it's still going strong. But I'm really impressed. This is the first time I've seen something that made me think better than this. This thing is a good job, V-Fly. I'm really impressed. The only thing I would ask for, I guess, if I had to ask for something, would be the option to have maybe a three amp limit. Just in case you have a quadcopter that's pulling and like with big honking motors that's tripping this thing on normal startup. That's the only thing I can think of. Other than that, I really, really like it. Link in the video description if you want to check it out. It's an affiliate link, by the way, in case you didn't know that. I use these affiliate links to, uh, you know, feed my children. So, you know, click the affiliate link and then make any purchase. You don't want to buy this? Buy anything. I get a small commission when you make any purchase after clicking that affiliate link. It's a very easy way for you to support me uh, and, uh, and uh, you know, feed my children. That's okay. You don't want my children to eat? Don't click the affiliate link on them. Yeah, it's all good. Your, your call. <laughs> Happy flying, you guys. Do you see this baby? Isn't he cute? Hit the subscribe button. Join my Patreon. Use my affiliate links, or just keep watching videos. That's better than nothing. Google Gaga, subscribe to my daddy. <laughs>